Hi, my name's Adam. I'm going to be taking you through this week's questions and answers session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. So in this week's question I've been asked how I can add to the list of templates which are currently available within SOLIDWORKS. If we go to File and New, we can see that there are three available by default within the software and these will be the same across most PCs. You'll normally have this list but I want to add in a few more. These could possibly have been created on your own machine or they possibly could have come from a customer or a client for example. I've got a list of templates and a sheet format which I'm going to add into the system. In order to do that I'm going to go to my options menu at the top here, down to file locations and in the file locations list you'll see that we can add a new location for document templates. So I'm going to add in the location which is currently on my D drive, it's in a folder called templates. If I click OK the software will ask me to confirm my changes and then when I go to new this time you'll find that I have two tabs okay one of the standard templates and one of the items I've just added for each folder you add into the uh, list you've got available in the options menu you'll get a new tab I also need to go ahead and add in the sheet format that I had on my system as well so under the uh, templates file location list I'll drop down and I'll go down to where sheet formats are in the list. I can then also add that templates folder into there as well. And that means that basically whenever I go to create a new document, if I use the standard SOLIDWORKS drawing templates, we'll find that I've got at the end of the list that standard sheet format that I've created. If you've taken the sheet formats and the template files for a drawing across from someone else's machine, you may well have to link them up within SOLIDWORKS. That's a fairly easy process to do. If you open up your template file, to link in your sheet format, all we need to do is right click and go down to Properties. We can then find our sheet format in the list and usually it's at the bottom, you'll see mine is already selected there. Click OK and then we need to save our template. In order to do that we just go save as, drop down the type to drawing templates and then we can overwrite the default one on our system which I've just got in that D templates folder that I created. If you don't do this step then you may well find when you create a new page in your drawing that it gives you an error saying the sheet format could not be located. So while you don't have to do it, it is usually a good process to run through when you're first inserting your sheet formats within SOLIDWORKS. Once you've added the sheet formats and the templates into your options menu and you've linked them together, you're all set up and ready to go. Thanks very much for watching.